Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of my weight loss journey and happy Tuesday to all of you. Rainy, cloudy, been kind of a gloomy day all day today, out running errands, was excited to watch some uh, baseball for the first baseball game of the season for Farmington's Varsity and Gabe, uh, but postponed obviously due to the weather. It's chilly in the 40s, cold and rainy, uh, not good. So uh, to everybody, hopefully you're keeping warm and dry. Um, and today we get to bring you uh, day 183 of my weight loss journey. And today, as we fast forward, I believe it was uh, 775 today. Uh, so first let's go back to 183 uh, because 183 was the start of another week uh, of my weight loss journey. Uh, the third week of the Big Arms program. So it was month one, day 15. Uh, and I was enjoying the program very much because it was my first part of weight training and incorporating those weights and really pushing uh, and now trying to not only continue to lose weight, but using different muscles and pushing myself with the weights and finally being able to use the gym that I purchased and put that to uh, to good use. So when I then have results like I did this week, uh, that definitely fired me up and kept me motivated. Uh, on day 183, uh, I saw that I lost 2.2 pounds from the day before. And it then brought my week over week total to 4.8 pounds lost. Uh, I now broke 330. I was at 329.6. Um, knowing that it's going to fluctuate, but to see it go down um, this by far as my largest weight loss in a week, comparison a week over week, um, it really got me fired up, really got me motivated, and kept me pushing um, every little bit, no matter how much it hurt it's turning into a good hurt. Now I'm pushing myself to those limits and seeing what I can do. So, uh, a great week I lost an extra half inch off my chest, an extra half inch off my hips. So I'm gonna put all the details uh, in the description so you can check it out. Uh, but I remember on how super pumped and happy and excited I was to be able to lose that much week, uh, weight in that week. Um, being that highest number. So uh, the V Shred meal plan is working fantastic. As always, Adam, thank you very much. Uh, and I'm just going to keep on, you know, pushing then to what I was doing and not stopping. And as we fast forward to day 775, nothing's really changed. I mean, now I get to change things up a little bit meal wise, maybe look at replacing certain things. I'm not so you know, panicky if there's something different, but the planning is still there. The dedication is still there. The motivation is still there. I just, I, I am finally at a point where if I'm going to do something that I know is going to, let's say, throw the scale off a little bit, I'm okay with it now, where before I was not. And I trained myself for so many days of seeing that go down, that even just thinking of it going up um, made me anxious. I didn't like it. Uh, I felt like maybe I failed. And I think it brings back feelings of when I was younger, when I would lose weight and then gain it and feel like you failed. Uh, you're constantly beating yourself up. And, you know, I think the part, and, and I'll go to where I was today with, and I'll go into the conversation for today for you guys, but uh, at 775, I did lose another half pound, so uh, today is my rest day uh, of my big arms program. I had a really good workout yesterday, felt fantastic. Uh, rest day today, get to recover uh, with what I did with my muscles, uh, chest, back, and supplemental arms, so I'm going to come back to a nice arm day tomorrow. Um, which I'll do that and um, 
yeah, I'll, I'll put the description of my weight and, and my meal plan is going great. And like I said, we're running errands, but I got my cooler back here. I got my snacks. I love, even with the planning and the things like going into a corner store to fill up water bottles for free. There's so many things that have made it accommodating and made it easy. Even with COVID, going into a restaurant and having even a restaurant warm up your food or bringing in your own. Um, it's not... When you first think about it, it, you think it's an inconvenience. You think it's a hassle. You think it's, you know, bothering somebody else. But it's not, and it's so easy. And in the end, if you tell people that you're on a special meal plan, nobody's going to nobody's gonna judge you. Nobody's going to be doing anything. And when at the end of the day, when you know what your goal is and what you're accomplishing and what you're, what you're doing, it doesn't matter because we're finally doing something for ourselves. So... Um, I think the reward and the payback and what I was going to talk about earlier is uh, you definitely already walk around and you feel like you know everyone's looking at you um, what you're doing what you're eating uh, at least you can feel better knowing that you're making healthier choices when you're doing so so you know people can look at you and judge you but maybe the way that you look at that time but use that for fuel on what you're going to look like later um, I had some flashbacks this morning when I was watching a show and they talked about bullying being bullied being called fat fatso being beat up uh, because of all that stuff and uh it brought back some flashbacks right away and it made me emotional because that was me. Uh, if I wasn't made fun of because of my red hair, I was made fun of because of my size. Uh, and I got bullied. I got beat up. I got picked on. Like you wouldn't believe in days where nobody said anything. People just, I guess, were maybe glad it wasn't them. You go through a lot of things and you deal with a lot of things in your life the way that you think you can or should or what feels the best. But I will tell you right now that this lifestyle, the working out, putting the work into yourself, bettering yourself, this is definitely the best way to go about it. Something that I wish that I would have taken seriously a long, long time ago. Uh, and maybe not had some of those experiences. But in the end, I mean, they made me who I am today. Uh, they're shaping me to who I am tomorrow. And I'm really happy with what I've accomplished and what I will continue to accomplish every day. So choosing you and doing something good for you, you will never regret. Everyone, I hope that you have a fantastic day. I hope your week has been starting off well. I hope that you have chosen something for you to do for you. And if not, take, take my motivation, take my words, take my experiences and start doing something for you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. We will talk to you tomorrow. Be kind. Bye-bye.